And courtesy he who shoots them gets to ride them. Okay. <laughs> well, there's the Toyota. That's the third one off out of the Toyota. Three for three. Show you just how close to the timber we did get. Yeah, you can see the, the blue roof on the end. Okay, so hopefully we'll get to see this momentarily. Get a better view out in the open. truck to get through and hook them up to the bumper and away we go. Yeah, that's a slow drive out. So it sure beats packing it by hand. There's the other photographer. Never seen so much help. Just about to the road. Uh, the road's water barred pretty good, so we'll have to drag it down to. There's a trailer waiting down below. What a beautiful setting. Oh, he threw the bull in the back of the truck. Jack's got his winch on there now. Just slid it off. It's hanging. Looks like we got lots of help. So, I think Brian and I are going to sneak away here fairly quickly and go see if we can get ours. Well, we've been out in the boat for a little while. Um, minus 13 last night. It didn't seem to be as cold. I don't know if there's just less moisture in the air or what. But. So we're looking. And uh, everything seems to have been nailed between 9 and 11 in the morning. So hopefully uh, it'll be our turn. I thought I'd just uh, revisit our campsite. There's the fueling stations. We've got the Shower Off Jacks trailer. This is uh, Michael and Terry's, Jack and Lou's uh, setup. This big wall tent. We have a cleanup station that's right in between the, the two main places. And just inside the main, we've got the kitchen. John's bed. A nice big stove jack made up out of a 45 gallon drum. This is Mike Toombs area. He's out fishing with Glenn right at the moment. And the uh, boys from Cape Breton just made up this nice table. It's poker night. So they've gone to a little, did a little few extras. They've been doing without a table up until uh, the time we got up here. Well, I'm just inside a uh, little army tent. They brought themselves a stove. Beds. Not really that big. Any room for one more. This is the back of the site. And uh, got the three, uh, three hanging. A little uh, 
not bad size, uh, a little smaller rolls. Something like uh, the size of Jack's last year. And uh, of course this is Brian's tent. And uh, he's out right now. He's walking the road out front. The, uh, somebody got a bull out there the other day. And uh, you're hoping to see another one. We haven't seen anything so far today, but uh, everybody's due back to camp, and it's our turn to go go look. It's filming the uh, Finley Range in the back. It, it'll turn into the Russell Range. There's uh, a couple of interesting areas. seen as ice doors so kind of interested in the ones that aren't I'm actually uh, going from the south where that's a uh, native camp down below this one's coming out a couple of campers trailers around it I'm just looking northward. And that'll be up in the uh, Russell Range. There. I see the river in the background. Uh, just after five o'clock and uh, we're working another slash just south of the camp here. My partner, we're up high. We're just gonna separate now for a little while and have a little walk. Again, just taking a little bit of footage of the mountains. It's beautiful. Here's a river that we're gonna go on in the canoe. That might be in the next couple days. I haven't decided what day yet. So far the weather's been holding up, it's been real nice. All right. Well, we've been coming up the uh, Carrera Mine Road and uh, came around a corner and Cal and Cra uh, Calf were in the uh, stream. So uh, Ryan and Mike Toon have just gotten out to uh, walk the road to see if there was a bull falling. About 60 kilometers up to the mine we found out, and we're... Well, we're uh, probably 30-something kilometers. Anyway, we're just going to take a look at the draws. Take a real good look. This is uh, just a beautiful spot. The cabin just over my shoulder. I'll see if I can get some footage on it. Looks like it's well used. A little bit of snow, but uh, the roads are usually they're actually pretty good. <laughs> see, Brian and Mike didn't see anything fall on the cow and calf. Had a good look. Just might have a little break here and have a real good look. Caribou, elk. Probably the oddball will be up here.
You gotta, gotta take a look at these incredible draws. Hopefully nobody spots anything or it's backpack. Backboards. Maybe hard to get out. You just hear Jack and Luke coming. There they are. Jack says he's going to drive through here. He's got a spotting scope. We'll see. This is about a thousand meters. Uh, about two degrees out right now. It really warmed up last night. The smoke camp in somebody's head. Well, this poor old cabin has sure seen a lot of use. And uh, looks like there's a lot of you know, people have just been pigs. Left garbage all over the place. Made a little bit of a look in there last year. Looks like there's a lot of pack rats are living in there. Don't bother to go in today. Michael and Terry and John just pulled up. Everybody having a good look. Comes Jack and Lou, they're gonna they're following us up. Let's walk back down just a little bit. We just come right across a beauty, beauty of a draw. We'll glass this for a bit, see if we can't get a little bit of movement. I'd love to see an elk up there. That's really what this is all about. We'll see. It's great to get a picture of an elk or even caribou going through. Or... Just a beautiful spot. Everybody gets a chance to get out and take a look and see if we can't see something. Jack and Lou. Just ahead of us. Oh, nice sweeping. There's my Kodak moment. Just gonna take a, another shot right from where the last one was. Brian, incredible background. Doing a lot of glassing coming up here, a lot of draws. Not being very successful, I'm afraid. But still, the scenery is just incredible. Okay, we're just about at the site. Waiting whether we're gonna go all the way down. We're running out of time. We're supposed to meet Mike, Michael and Terry for uh, lunch and uh, a little bit of a drive out. That looks like it's a site though. It's been a beautiful drive in here. It's been well worth the trip. In the snow. Yeah, there's a few of them. Goes Jack and Lou right over the top. And we're just watching Jack and Lou go around the corner. What a corner.
Well, I've had night shot on the whole time. I've been trying to find a way to get it off. So hopefully the pictures prior to this aren't too bad. Um, we just stopped for lunch. Um, we're just down in the valley with the cabin. And uh, we'll see what we see later on. Well, this morning Brian and I have all, all we've seen is a little red fox. Uh, Lou got an immature bull. So it should be back in camp. And they've spotted a, uh, camp has spotted a grizz. Not too far away. And uh, it's on a, small, it looks like a piece of a calf or something. So they're going to go down and take a look at it. The, uh, this seems to be the specialty up here for the natives to uh, go after cow and calf. They say they taste much better than the bull. But uh, what we're looking at now is Paul River. And Brian and I are across from the Paul Main. We're uh, waiting for 4.30. That's when their crew comes out. And we can go in. Now we've heard that there's a bull in here. So uh, hopefully we can call it out. Maybe it'll be our turn this evening. Uh, we're very mild right now. It uh, cooled off pretty good last night. So hopefully it will do the same again. Well, Brian and I have been uh, out the Paul Road all day. And I do mean all day. We've had absolutely no luck. Uh, we're uh, bull for, oh, I might have called twice. And it was in the thick woods. There's no way to get at it. Uh, we did have some problems with the uh, competition. Uh, Don and Don Baxter were they beat us up here this morning. So the two sites that Brian and I had picked last evening we couldn't get at, so we kind of were forced to look elsewhere. Right now what's happened is we're just up around the 14, 15 kilometer marker and this is kind of like the end of the road. They had a bowl uh, down around 7 kilometers. It was a small slash that they just finished. They had a bowl hanging around for uh, couple days. That was at least two days ago. So that's what we were all after, the Baxters and us. And there was yeah, two, three other vehicles actually in on it. We we're all racing around trying to find the young bull. And uh, it's kind of like the last spot to go look. So Brian's on his way down and uh, we're just coming on evening actually. We'll leave probably around 6.30 or so, and uh, maybe around 7. Glenn's in the area. He showed up. He's got uh, Mike Toom and John with him. Uh, I guess Brian's gone around the woodpile. And uh, so they're going to do 6 kilometer down, and we're doing 6 kilometer up. And uh, so we got some extra hands if, <laughs> if we are fortunate, or if they are. Um, a little bit of rain today, pretty mild, um, a little cooler in the morning, it was actually got quite cold in the morning, once we got away from camp and started to lay down some of our spots, but, uh, okay. But uh, I'd like to say, this pack of those six dairy cans, which we might as well, because you're going to have lots of gas, it's going to be a full patty time plus, I mean, a yes. full 45 plus, you're in good shape for gas now. Oh, yeah. We just showed up, everybody's starting to, well, they've been packing up for a while, actually. They uh, just finished fueling all the vehicles up. Now, we're, Ron and I got our two flats, it looks like John got his. And he came in, so they're all standing around looking at it, seeing if they can do anything with it. Somebody might have plugged it for him when he wasn't looking, though. All right. Jack and Lou are going to crawl into there. They're going to finally see what it's like in the morning when they wake up. So Brian and I have been facing every morning. Uncle and Terry are going to sleep in the back of theirs. Here's John's truck. Okay, guys, they just started to take theirs down. 
gives you a better idea of what this army tent looks like. Pretty wild. Okay, they're going to try and put some air in it. Uh, it looks like I might have to think of doing something like that too, if I can salvage one of mine. Maybe, maybe we can fix Ryan's up. There's some awfully big holes. I don't know if it'll hold. Well, I'm not going to scratch my walls, that's for sure. I figure one member of my family here together is enough. We'll have to have a little drink of wine with us. Yeah. Pardon me? Oh, heavens no, that can be Chuck Blue, thanks. We've got uh, John's truck in the foreground. He's taking most of the light stuff out so he doesn't get another flat on the way out. We're just undoing the tarp so we can get it to meet and all hands on deck. Yeah, the boys have been hard at it. They got their tent down. This is the back of the tent. <laughs> you are. Oh, we're just getting ready. Well, everybody had to try it, uh, cutting it. So you got two in there. Somebody give him a hit. Okay, I got it. Let go. Okay. Okay. Get the third. Okay, cut the yellow one. Hang on. I don't have nice cut the yellow rope there. We've got lots of chiefs. Just watch fuck everybody's fingers there. We got one and a half in. Discording the other half. There's the audience. We're down to one and a half. Lots of help. All right, they're all down. And, uh, it's time to go have a shower. Quickly do that before we lose light. Get back at the guns, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Do you rip on a truck, buddy? Yeah. They're by okay. Everybody's I'll stop getting ready for this morning. How many worse than Mike? You got you, Mike. three guns and two fishing rods. Okay. Guns got all. Uh, that's all he needs to put in there, then, right? Eh? Okay. Perfect. H O G E L. Name spell. Hotel. H O. Are you guys all feeding your faces already? Hey, oh, T E L. Hey, oh, T E L. Can you spell hotel? Hey, oh. We're just getting ready to get going. Probably be one at a time here. I can't believe they got up as early as they did. <laughs> Come back with the boost. Yeah. I don't seem to be pretty excited to get out of here. Nobody more than Governor. We can't wait for Tim Hortons. I think they got their coffee, but he's addicted. Hotels. That's where they're going to be. Probably Williams Lake this evening. Mike McCary going to lead off. We got uh, James is driving. James is driving John's truck. Going to go that out.
go to bed. Let me do. It is an awfully long drive right here. It takes you about 20 minutes to get to the road. And we're just back when we were the last out. Just giving around some lights in the trailer. Yep, Jack and we just had a few more items to put away. And they're on their way. in Williams Lake this evening. Well, I'm sure when we get a bull down, we'll be sorry to see them go. So now there's nobody here but us chickens. But Brian and I have a nice, warm tent to get into. Well, we just finished... Uh, Late brunch, and uh, just showing you how deserted this place looks after everybody's gone. They're starting to burn some of the garbage. That we'd like to change. We'd like to have something hanging over top of that. We've uh, started working on the tires. We, because uh, we got the two flats coming in, we've got Brian's. It's holding. Um. Not a bad patch job. However, that one for the truck is uh, a little bit of a problem, so we're going to try one more time with it. It seems to be kind of a big hole. Well, it didn't take us very long to move in here. <laughs> we're going to have we're going to have heat tonight. <laughs> First time in a week. Yeah. Minus 11. Minus 13. Minus 6. She's been good. Home sweet home. Yeah, I just wanted to show a little something above Brian's bed. <laughs> a little forget-me-not from home. And we still have a fair number of items to get out of here. Jeez, I just about missed it here. Uh, by the last second I saw Brian's shrine. photos from home. And it's going to pan down from the other corner. Kitchen rigged up now. I'm just about to do dishes, followed by <laughs> water detail. There could be a fucking cow or a cow around here. Well, we've finally seen a moose. Our second cow. Well, it's our last full day. We uh, searched the area last night. Uh, see if there was a bull with that cow. And this morning we just double checked the road to make sure nothing had followed in through the evening. So Nothing had, of course. Down by the river. 37 and a half kilometer will actually give you access to the river. So, uh, right now we've got a couple of eagles, lots of crows and ravens. I guess there's a group that was in here that uh, did very well. They were a week or two earlier than we were. I guess they must have hit the road just right on. Unfortunately, they left their little gut pile right behind their rack, and this is why all the birds are here. It's going crazy. <laughs> Can you hear them? Yeah, let's get a shot of the shot of the river. The river 
was uh, fairly quickly actually. Well, I talked to some guys last night and they tried it with their boat. I guess they just made a mess of their prop. Some uh, fairly shallow areas. It's too loud. You tell me if you're gonna shoot, cause uh... Ah, fuck it. Little bear will live to live another day. Young one, eh? Yeah. Ah, forget it. We just come up the mine road, only a couple K in. Nice spot is. Well, we've just come up towards Paul, Paul Creek. And uh, we're actually in around where Jack and Lou got the immature. Some got the gut pile. Just walking down to the, to the river. Most sign I've seen the whole trip was down uh, last slash where this past Jack, where Jack and Lou got the. Well, it's last morning. And uh, making the last rounds. May go to about noon. I'm gonna have to go back to camp and uh, start packing. It'll probably take us six hours or so. You hear the traffic in the background. I forgot the sun wasn't on. Just at the uh, pond off of uh, Del Main on the two kilometer mark. So I'm just panning it. And down in this corner, on the other side, there's a little goose for a slash, and that's where two of the bulls were taken. Looks right around, we can never get a view in there, but there was a resident cow in here at one time. A couple people have seen it. Not for a long time though. It's still up the dell, I'm uh, looking over to the Akai side. Feller buncher in the background. To the uh, slashes that we spent a fair bit of time uh, glassing. This is up the Dale side. There's a 
few more in the back down there. No metals. Well, I'm just heading back to camp. And, uh, my brain started packing already. I'm just looking over towards the, uh, there's the Finley River. And, uh, Range. No. Just up on the side hill where the Grizz was. Islands and water breaks up everywhere. And well, it's too bad we weren't able to add to the pot here. We've uh, certainly given it our best. And I'm just going to show you where the camp was in relation to the river and mountains. I don't see you moving. And we'll get filled up and uh, the trailer hooked up, start breaking camp. We haven't decided what we're going to sleep in tonight, which tent, and uh, we'll get going tomorrow morning. Oh man. I'm just showing that slick little rig that we got with a nice little filter on it. It takes no time at all to fill up. You know, there's a couple empties. Brian had a little visit from a couple of boys from Fort Ware as he was uh, it's already started to take the chimney apart to clean it up for Jack. So, we'll do a little breakfast and we'll start taking this apart. Anyway, uh, hopefully the rains just hold off for us until we get ready here. Well, we got a pretty good jump on it. Another hour we're going to have to start doing something about dinner. Well, we still got some light. Trying to burn as much as we can. So we're down to oh, it's the it's the hard stuff. All the big stuff's pretty well put away. Just got to take care of the can. And it's moving day. I just wanted to show you Brian's fire. Just because there's a little bit of wood around, he's got to throw it all in there. It's got to be bigger than Jack's. I'll remember that uh, rack for another year. So we're getting it down. Just about got everything burnt up, though it should be done. Truck's coming along. We almost got it full. Just finished dinner. We're hoping to do a 12 hour run tomorrow. We'll try and make it down to Williams Lake. So we only have about an 8 hour run in on Saturday. And uh, that's where we are this time of evening. So we'll just finish backing up in the morning and we're gone. Well, we got away at 8.15. It rained throughout a while, a little bit all through the night. So it was a little bit of a scramble this morning trying to get everything put away. It took us a couple hours by the time we got fed. The roads are going to be sloppy going out of here. The uh, mileage was 300,457. We'll check it on when we get to Windy Point. There's the sign. And pretty quick here, we're going to put Brian's rifle away because we're leaving 741. Just hit the pavement. We're at uh, 304923.